Yo, how is it going Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. What is next for Javon Williams in Chicago? Will the former 7th round pick out of Georgia get another chance to shine in the Windy City? I'm going to be answering these questions and many more today on the topic of Javon Wims. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Episode 15 of Uncut. I am your host, Chris Malpe. Before we start anything, I'd like to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. If you haven't subbed to the channel already, be sure to do that. Uh, hit the bell for uh, notifications and make sure to smash a like on this video. But thank you guys so much. You know, we started this just about two years ago, ever since we launched a website about... I'd say a month and a half ago, things have been going incredibly well. We've been posting a ton of content. You guys have absolutely loved it. This is just the start. We're going to keep grinding for you guys, hopefully getting content out every day, and we have fun with it. It's, it's what we love to do, and it's what we're going to keep up doing here. So let's get right into this video. Thank you guys so much again for 1,000 subscribers. So today we're obviously here to talk about Javon Wims. Things have gotten a little bit interesting following the drafting of, of Mooney and the signings of Ginn Jr. and Trevor Davis. So let's just get right into it. So Wims came out of Georgia. You know, he spent time playing in college with Jake Fromm and obviously current Bear Riley Ridley, who is the brother of Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Calvin Ridley. So Wims was drafted in the 2018 NFL Draft, 224th overall by the Bears in the seventh round. He ran a 4th 5 3 40 at the 2018 NFL Combine, also had a 33-5 on his vertical jump. Obviously, I said it again. He was a 7th round pick, but ever since he was picked in 2018, I personally have been one to speak pretty highly of him. I, I think he's been a pretty good receiver. He, he's shown that he's able to, you know, flash in the route running, has some pretty good speed. He had 18 receptions for 186 yards and a touchdown in 2019. He's a player who meshes meshes pretty nicely. You know, he's a hybrid. He, he, can, he can run routes really nicely. He's been featured on, like, Bleacher Report and stuff before for having good routes and, and splitting the angles of some defenders. And he's also got some pretty good speed. He, he can catch most anything wherever you put in his catch radius. But now I am one to believe that his future in Chicago may be unknown thanks to the drafting of fifth-round pick out of Tulane, Darnell Mooney, the signing of Ted Ginn Jr., and the signing of Trevor Davis. So I got three quick questions to answer for you guys today on this episode of Uncut. Let's get right into it. First question for you, or that I'm going to be answering for you guys, is does Wims make the roster? Surprisingly to most people, you know, if you ask Jalen, you know, Jalen and I don't agree on all things, but uh, we can both agree that ever since that 2018 draft, we have both gone to back for Javon Wims and Kevin Tolliver. But I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Wims does not make the roster, and here's why. Javon Wims, you know, he comes into a pretty loaded wide receiver room now. You think Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, Ted Ginn Jr., Trevor Davis, Riley Ridley, Cordero Patterson, and Darnell Mooney. It's a really, really rambunctious uh, wide receiver room. And with the amount of draft capital that we put into Javon Wims, I think it's going to be a little bit tough for him to make the roster in 2020. You know, he did have 186 yards and a touchdown in 2019. He's proven a little bit that he can do it. I don't know if he's proven that he can be someone who can consistently get reps and do it as much as I think he can be that type of player. I just don't know. It's it's a really tough predicament when it comes to Wims' future. Um, I'm going to say if Ted Ginn Jr. is healthy, I think Wims does not make the roster in 2020. If, if Ted Ginn or someone else goes down, I definitely think he stays around and can still play a, a pretty decent marginal role. The next question I have to answer is, if he does make the roster, how do you see him doing in 2020? You know what? This is an interesting one. He, he's had 22 career receptions, didn't do much in 2018 his rookie year. I think he only played in the game. He only played in four games in 2018, and his most productive game was the game against the Vikings before the playoff game against the Eagles at uh, in Minnesota. So it's a tough one. I don't know if I see him doing much. Uh, with the depth that we have at wide receiver right now, I'm going to be completely honest. If everyone can see health, stay healthy and Wims does make the roster, I think other guys probably deserve more shots. I mean, we put more draft capital into Riley Ridley. We picked him in the fourth round of 2019. We put more draft capital into Darnell Mooney just this offseason, you know. Someone who is, is, is a speedster, can take the top off a of defense, may not be as known for his route running, but is very special in another area of play. 
So I think he probably deserves more reps. Trevor Davis is someone at this point, I don't really know if he makes the roster or not. I was confident on him a couple days ago when I recorded an uncut with Parshaw on him. But after the the Ginn edition, I could see both Wims and Davis off the roster as easily as I could see them on it. It really just depends on how many people the Bears want to hold and how everyone's health plays out and how everyone performs in training camp, you know. Training camp is set to be really fun. We're going to see players like Ladarius Mack. We're going to see players like Jalen Johnson being healthy again. We're going to see the quarterback competition between Mitchell Trubisky and Nick Foles. And we're going to see a loaded wide receiver room go at it. We're going to be able to see Cole Komet, Jimmy Graham. But the wide receiver competition this summer is shaping up to be a really good one. Personally, I think if Wims does make the roster, I think it might come as a shock to most people that that uh, I don't think he's going to. But but I'm not incredibly confident myself just just based on you know the speed and the depth that the Bears have added at wide receiver. Finally, my last question to answer for you guys is, is Wims a player that the Bears can afford to move on from? I'm going to say yes for that same reason that I just spoke about. You know, the Bears have added a ton of depth. It really just comes down to health. You know, Ted Ginn Jr. is someone who I think can make an instant impact if he can stay healthy. But if he can stay healthy is going to be the question. Same with Anthony Miller with his shoulder injury. Riley Ridley, I think, deserves a lot more reps with what we put into him. I also think he's a prospect that could turn into a very good wide receiver down the road one day. I've been big on Javon Wims forever. You know, Darnell Mooney's also someone I want to see a decent bit of action out of. That being said, I don't think he gets a ton of reps in 2020. We'll see how that one ends up playing out. Obviously, Ted Ginn Jr., I said if he's healthy, he's someone I definitely want to see. Uh, Anthony Miller is set to be the wide receiver, too, if he can stay healthy. He's going to be getting more reps, you would assume. And then there's obviously there at the top of the totem pole, Allen Robinson, who who's going to be targeted a ton regardless. So I think Wims is someone the Bears can afford to move on from as much as it does hurt me to say that. Believe me, I really do like Javon Wims. And I really think that his future in Chicago is, is up for question, you know. With the depth that we brought in, training camp is going to be a lot of fun. And we'll have to see how this one pans out in the middle of the summer. I think it's going to be a good one for sure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode number 15 of Bear Done Uncut. If you want more content from us, do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications whenever we post videos or have live streams, and you can also like this video. That would be a big help for us. If you'd like more content from us, do us a favor, head over to our website, beardown.com. You can find my social media down in the description, at News on Instagram. I'm really close to hitting 8K when I'm recording this at about 4 p.m. on Friday, May 1st, and uh, I'm posting up a ton of good content on there as well. If you would like to follow the podcast on Instagram and especially Twitter, we're really trying to garner support on Twitter, follow it at Bear Down. That's pretty much going to do it for me, guys. Pretty good day out here in Illinois today. Stay in quarantine. Uh, keep staying safe, guys. We're going to get through this eventually. I am your host, Chris Malpe. Thank you so much for tuning in on my thoughts on Javon Wims. And as always, Chicago, stay safe and bear down. Peace.